Hey everybody, Bill Owen from MMPCTech.com and TheModZoo.com Doing something a little different today. Vlogging from my mobile monkey cage. And I'm gonna meet Captain Curry Sauce just outside of town in Welch, Minnesota for a nice drive on County Road 7, which is one of the nicest driving enthusiast roads in the state of Minnesota. Nice, grippy asphalt roads along beautiful countryside. Multiple elevations, windy turns, twisty sweepers. And he'll be riding his Yamaha FZ8, which is a killer bike. Okay, so we're gonna be visiting Nubasaurus today, check out his project PCB PC that was featured on the cover of CPU magazine. And also he's gonna give us a little preview of his new scratch build project that he's working on. You can see I've got all custom circuit boards here that are backlit with LEDs. And then like circuit board buttons. I swapped out the power on and hard drive LED lights on the front. Um, did a custom paint job. And then I did a lot of work on the inside. I have an Asus Griffin uh, Z87 board with thermal armor. I modif or I painted the armor. Here I can turn it for you. Did a uh, circuit board floor sleeving. I modded a H80i. Um, I think it's got a 4670K. Uh, and a EVGA 670 FTW graphics card. Alright, so this is some stuff for the new build. There's a key plate. That'll make a little more sense as I explain this. Uh, cast iron. It's from I got a salvage yard or salvage shop. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. And then, so the idea is it's going to be a Dota 2 mod um, or Dota 2 themed. Uh, wood chest based off the node 304 that'll kind of be the bottom plate it'll be mini ITX water cooled um, this red I'm gonna do accents with uh, red slate so that'll be cool uh, I'll cut this down to size and do like an insert here and then the wood I think will be mahogany and I have uh, clover leaf mesh that'll be the mesh for the sides so the push button will be in there and I want that to be the start button so you push that and that'll light up and start and then the whole top piece this will be the roof so I'll have a 280 radiator mounted in the top and then out of the red slate I want to do a Dota the Dota 2 logo mount that on top of more mesh um, and the radiator will be roof mounted so that'll hinge up of course like a chest so that's the future or the current plans barring uh, design challenges I'm sure that'll come into play so yeah if you're looking for PC cooling fan printable templates or radiator templates We've got a bunch on MMPC Tech that you can download for free. Just go to the site on the main page, scroll down, and on the left, you'll see the links for projects and tutorials and the free printable cooling fan and radiator templates. The captain's behind me. He wants to get going. Of the mod monkeys, we've got some new reviews coming up. Mosquito's about to finish the N1 D frame mini or mini D frame. He's putting a hardline loop of that. That review should be up soon on the site. Did you know that we actually did product reviews? Yes, we do. If you've been paying attention to the channel, you would know that we've done an unboxing and brief overview of the D frame mini. I've had it for a little while now, and by the time you're watching this video, the review article should be posted on themodzoo.com, complete with this nice system install here, 
And uh, what I did basically was just kind of did a single radiator and full custom water loop using PETG tubing hardline. And I have a uh, GTX 760 graphics card in along with the processor loop. And I'm using an AlphaCool UT60 240 millimeter radiator. And that mounts down here in the bottom kind of nice. I like the way it fills up the space. I kind of I had a, a slimmer radiator, a 30 millimeter thick radiator, but that just left way too much open space for for what I liked. But overall, it was it was a pretty fun build. Um, I kind of wish that there was something to cover the power supply area, like I don't know mesh sides or even solid sides or something, because if you get low enough, you can see all the wires coming out of the bottom of the power supply. And just, you know, stickers on the side of your power supply if you're not into removing those, which for the purpose of reviews, but I'll go ahead and take off the side panel. We can get a little bit better look here. So as part of the water loop, we have the AlphaCool UT60 240 radiator, and I installed some Corsair fans, the SP120s, so they're a little bit noisier, but with this thicker radiator, it kind of gives me a good good amount of airflow through the radiator and still help cool the rest of the system as well since those are the only two fans that there are in the system there's no mounting places for anywhere else for fans or anything like that so I went with those fans just to kind of keep enough air moving and right now I just have them powered off of a Molex connector to have them on full bore the whole time. Alright so what we have here is an MSI Z87i ITX motherboard I have a Pentium G3258 CPU in there, overclocked to 4.6 GHz, with a Swiftec Apogee XL water block, a GTX 760 with a heat killer by Watercool water block on that. Again, the AlphaCool UT60 radiator, and I have a DDC or MTP35X since it's a Swiftec with a EK. Uh, DDC res top. This is the 140 version and I really liked this pump and res combo because I, I really liked the location of it and the fact that I could use their already existing SSD slash hard drive mounting plates to mount it on. I mean it was a really nice place to put it because it put the inlet and the outlet so close to everything that I needed and it kept it kind of in a space where it would help fill uh, what would otherwise be a void in the in the case, it just kind of filled it out a little bit better. But and then again, red red dye to play off of the black and red theme of the tubing and the bumpers. We're heading towards a really I don't know uh, tasty, savory section of Twisty Road here in southern Minnesota in the Minnesota River Valley, just outside. Welch Village. The stretch of road is only six miles, but it's a great stretch of road. The scenery is just like a video game. It reminds me a lot of the asphalt stage from Colin McRae Rally I used to play. because I couldn't hear it over the noise anyways. I'll just print a list of all the stuff that's been done to the car in the, in the uh, description of the video beneath. <laughs> I, don't have to, I don't have to name them all off. Oh, we're almost over to our turn. Now, this is Captain Curry Sauce's first time here. He's gonna love it. Yamaha FZ8. Inline four, 796 cc's, puts about 90 some horsepower on the rear wheel on the road. I think on the crank it's rated at about 107 or something. And next thing I know, I am about to go off the road, but yeah, I saved it. That would have been an awkward phone call for Bill. Uh, Hello? Uh, uh, he's laying here. Bye. <laughs> I 
think I could have pushed it more but I just wanted to ride under my abilities because I don't know these roads this is my first time here and so I know the first two times I was kind of taking it pretty slow pretty cautious and I know on the third time I did have some fun but I think it was me not being go to my own limits I didn't want to do anything stupid and regret it so I'll save all that for a track Ah, I snuck some car and motorcycle stuff into the blog. <gasps> For shame! Well, hey, cars and motorcycles, PC building and modding and overclocking, to us, goes hand in hand. It's all about tweaking and customizing and personalizing. So yeah, I'm going to have some car stuff in the vlog once in a while. And other stuff, too. So, hang in there. I'm back in the shop now. And I'm working on another new case mod. This one's for Antec. And it is with their new 1100 very solid chassis what's going on here something's going on there off the side panel something's going on here off the bezel what the heck happened to this yay 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 well you're looking at very early stages here anybody recognize that symbol here it is again this is a fan grill. This is going to look like it was chiseled from stone when it's done. Here are the bay covers. Chiseled from wood? Hmm, interesting. So this is a case mod that Antec is going to give away in anticipation of the new World of Warcraft Warlords of Draenor game. And that releases on November 13th. So, I don't know when uh, they're going to announce this. I just know I need to get it done by the release date, and I'm working on it. But uh, you can go to MNPC Tech and follow the updates. Again, main page, scroll down, and you see a whole bunch of links on the left side. And just go to Antec 1100 Case Mod. And I've been updating it oh, about every other day. Um, also, if you follow me on Twitter at MN MNPC Tech or on Facebook, I'll post updates there too. But um, yeah, and we've got some new case reviews in the queue coming up soon. Also, I'm going to get back together with the mod zoo guys and do the next installment of our DIY guide to PC water cooling. We're just waiting for some parts to arrive. So, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, my second vlog, and I'll try to incorporate some other type of content that's interesting. Not always cars and motorcycles, um, but just cool stuff. There's lots of cool people in this building where my shop is, and it'd be fun to share what they do. So, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you soon. We'll see you on themodzoo.com, on Facebook, and wherever else on the interwebs. Thanks for watching.